In this video, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide to logging in to your goals and stepping into your winter arc. The winter arc is a movement where people are striving to become the best version of themselves. So come with me as I give you all the tips and tricks on how to succeed in your goals, level up, and reach your fullest potential. Let's all lock in and reach our goals together before 2025. Good morning guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, today is going to be all about stepping in to your winter arc and locking in to who you see your version of the fullest potential being. We have 60 days left until 2025. Go ahead and start getting into your winter arc and really tapping into your most productive, most healthy version of who you are before 2025. So that way you're ahead of the game. I feel like y'all might be tired of seeing this corner but I love it, so just deal with it. <laughs> that sounded so bad. I'll be taking a balloon. I've been drinking this for the past two days. I don't mind the flavor of it either. I think it would definitely be better in a juice or like with some lemon. I'm also taking my vitamins. I've shown you guys these before. <laughs> I put lemon I put lemon juice in oh my gosh Bailey I put lemon juice in mine let's go more into depth about entering your winter arc so what is the winter arc the winter arc is entering your full potential knowing what goals you want to achieve before 2025 and actually locking in doing all the steps you need to in order to reach those goals here i have my winter arc journal definitely set your goals and then go over here and do like your winter arc the person who you see as being the fullest to the fullest of your potential what is their routine what healthy habits do they have and what is their mindset i think mindset is such a good thing to focus on for my goal setting tips the first step is obviously to set your goals now when you are setting your goals you don't need to just be like oh i want to go to the gym or like i want to eat healthy no be specific with setting your goals. How many times a week do you want to go to the gym? Is it realistic? Like, does your routine actually have time in your daily life to go to the gym? On days that you're working, maybe like wake up earlier. Like, these are things you need to think about. So you can set the timers, set the reminders on your phone, whatever you need to, to actually incorporate that into your routine. Be realistic with your goals as well. Like, I kind of already said this. What barriers do you need to overcome? Do you just really like sweets, but you want to eat healthy? Maybe get some fruits involved, some peanut butter. Like, that's a barrier that you can overcome. In the past, like what has stopped you from eating healthy? Do you just like you're in it for a week and then two weeks later you just go back to eating the way you were? Like focus on like where you went wrong last time and really try to fix it and lock in on that so that you can actually do great and succeed this time. Once you've been specific and realistic with your goals, actually lock in on them. Write them down. Make a to-do list every day and check them off as you go throughout your day and at the end of the night just look back and make sure that you did everything and it'll feel so rewarding just seeing all the check marks. Surround yourself with motivation people who motivate you watch motivating people on youtube get your family involved get your partner involved get your friends involved people that will support you along the way make a plan like get a planner get a notebook plan out your weeks plan out your months plan out whatever goals and habits you want to have or incorporate into your morning or night routine and stick to them and hold yourself accountable another thing that i love to do is make a vision board on pinterest specifically because pinterest has everything you could possibly need screenshot if you want this but i highly recommend you like writing down your goals writing down tips for yourself under my mindset little section i have nothing is stopping me from reaching my goals when you have that mentality it's really just like it's me against the world another one is prayer is your weapon because 
if god is a god of the universe he's also god of all of your problems i feel like also by including god in your life and your struggles and your challenges it'll make you closer to god it'll make you stronger in your faith you'll be able to build a testimony and at the end of it whenever you do receive that blessing or even if you do fall short you're gonna feel comforted you're still gonna feel successful because you at least put in the effort you at least tried <laughs> today it's literally looking like a winter day i don't know if i'm getting into the spirit i just took a quickie little shower i feel like my fit is very much giving clean girl aesthetic my dog keeps barking in the background but we're going to moisturize our face I washed my face in the shower. If you guys want to know my shower routine, it's in my previous video. Whenever it starts getting cold outside and the winter starts coming, everything just gets dry. My body, my face, my mouth, like everything is just so dry. That's why it's so important to hydrate and moisturize in the winter time. How did I already drop that on me? Like I've, we've barely been here. <laughs> I've been obsessed with this. Also, it's so cute and pink. Like, I'm obsessed with the packaging. I have been using this CeraVe under eye product, and I feel like I can notice a difference already. I've only been using it for a few days, but I feel like the darkness and the puffiness under my eyes is not as bad as it was. <laughs> to cook ourselves a healthy brunch breakfast in our winter arc we are eating healthy isn't it so beautiful oh my gosh i love it these are actually frozen blueberries that i just de-thawed because fresh produce does not last and then it's like i feel like i just wasted my money when it goes bad no no sis let's have a taste test Mm. A healthy and cheap lunch that me and my boyfriend have been loving is the frozen chicken and frozen vegetables with rice. And then you can find like all sorts of seasoning. There's like lime cilantro, orange, uh, garlic parmesan. So you can really like spice up the frozen vegetables and frozen chicken with things like that. Also something else I'm always obsessed with every winter season is crockpot soups. Literally just get like chicken broth, some like shredded chicken and some seasoning packets maybe some vegetables here and there some pasta some beans you know just really throw anything in there it's super quick super easy and pretty affordable when you think about it let's go make some coffee i would normally do pumpkin spice but since this is a like winter video we're gonna do white chocolate and caramel That is so good. I love how when like you can tell how good the coffee is going to be based off of the color because this is she. That is where I'm going to end out the video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this gave you some tips on setting your goals and how to actually achieve them and how to really step into your winter arc and become the best version of yourself. Comment the yoga emoji down below if you've watched this video this far. I will see you guys in my next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Bye.